Hey everybody, welcome to Photo Blue. Today I'm going to show you how to use the LCH or the Lightness Chroma and Hue Adjustment in NX Studio by Nikon. Now this tool does several things and makes several different adjustments and you, you may notice that it does some things or similar things to other tools but this is just another way to uh, make adjustments and some of the adjustments in here you might actually find it easier to use on another tool and some of the uh, adjustments on here you might like this better this is very similar to the uh, uh, color control points tool except you're not working with as many uh, points as you can in that tool uh, but for some adjustments you may prefer this so let's take a look at it so if we go here to the second box it gives us a choice of chroma hue color brightness or color lightness uh, master lightness uh, so let's start with the chroma first now the thing we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, eyedropper and we're going to click on this wall right here so it puts a little square uh, dot right here and and that's uh, where it's selected the, the color that it's going to work with and so if, we're going to exaggerate this so that you can see the, the differences a lot more. And so you can see some of the the uh, color is already changing, but we really need to adjust the width of this because when we pick a color uh, on a photograph, it's actually made up of different shades and different colors near that color. So we're going to bring the width up and you'll see it affects more and more of the wall as we do that and so we can kind of adjust where it um, affects. Now the chroma actually is kind of the vividness or the color saturation so when we go up here the color gets brighter and if we go down here it, it gets um, less saturated and so it actually turns to black and white at some point. If we go back up here way up and we're exaggerating once again you'll see down here along this uh, this uh, concrete here it started to actually turn uh, uh, to the same color as the wall here slightly so what we can do is we can click this um, checkbox right here exclude gray and you see that it pulls out a lot of the uh, um, blue that it was starting to get from the wall or from adjusting the wall so let's reset this back to the original value again and if we go to hue we're going to go and we're going to take the eyedropper and we're going to click on the wall again once again we're, we're going to exaggerate this somewhat so i'm going to pull this up to here and and uh we don't really see much of an effect now but if we widen this it starts to to affect more of the wall and so if we go up in this case it actually turns the wall more towards a purple color and uh if we go down it turns it more towards a green color so so it will it will actually shift the color to a certain extent uh, that you have selected and once again we'll just set that to the original value now we have color lightness and we can take the eyedropper on this and go to this wall and select this particular color we're going to once again exaggerate it a little bit you can see here it's started to light in certain pixels but we need to broaden what pixels it covers right here so we can either lighten them by pulling it up or darken them by pulling it down so you can kind of selectively make a color pop a little more by making it a little brighter or a little darker depending on your circumstance so let's reset that to the original value and we'll go to the final thing this is master uh, uh, lightness right here and so here really you don't want to move it too much but you can lighten it or darken it a little bit and in this particular tool there are other tools in here that you might actually uh, want to adjust the exposure on this or use other tools in here that do this a little bit better uh, for example, if we slide up here, if we have exposure compensation, probably, let's go back down here, reset this to the original value, probably you'd, you'd want to, in, in lieu of using the lightness 
overall master control since it's not selecting any specific color you may want to actually just use the exposure control and you might find that to be better in that particular case so that's how you use the uh, LCH or lightness chroma and hue adjustment uh, tool in NX Studio. This has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.